Please welcome to the Foundation channel. I am Tanya Cortez. On this channel, I talk about everything foundation and complexion for more mature skin. So today we are going to be playing with the very Valentino uh, Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation and it has SPF 26 in it. Very Valentino. I don't know why I am so excited to try this foundation. I've, I've been waiting for it, you know, and for some reason, Sephora shipping is starting to be longer and longer, and it's probably because of the hol holiday season, but I was just really impatient, <laughs> so I couldn't wait to get it, so I did get it today, so I couldn't wait to get it on my face, so I said, well, you know, let me show everybody what this looks like on. It's not a wear test, so I won't be able to tell you how it actually wears, but I did just want to see what it initially looks like on the skin. So I just wanted to show you guys that as well. So if you guys wanna see this video, then you stay tuned. Roll the credits. So excited to try this. Um, as I said, we are trying the Very Valentino uh, Sunscreen Broad Spectrum 26 Long Lasting Perfection Foundation. All right, so this is the box and this is what it looks like. Pretty packaging, it's a glass bottle, of course, and it has like the little mirror all over. So before we go ahead and get started, let me go over the vitals. So it is $64. It is 40 shades. It claims to have a matte finish, a matte finish, liquid formula, long wearing, medium coverage. It states that it is a semi matte foundation and it perfectly balances three foundation dreams, buildable coverage, breathable texture, and long lasting up to 24 hour wear. So that is what it says. I think that's pretty much. Okay, yep, that's pretty much all that it gives you. Um, it doesn't say whether it's good for all skin types. It doesn't say any of that, but we're gonna find out. It, say, it does state that it is hydrating and it's transfer resistant. Well, we gonna see. And that is about it. So let's get started to try this. So um, I got it in the shade uh, DN2. DN2, that's what I got it in. So let's get started. I'm gonna do a brush on one side, sponge on another side and go from there. This time I think I'm gonna mix it up and do a sponge on this side and let's do a brush on this side. But it does say shake well before using. It did say that. It doesn't have like a little ball in it, but it does sound fairly watery. So let's test this shade out and see what we have here. Let me get a wipe. All right. All right, so this is the consistency of it. And let's try and see. Okay, let's see. The one after this one looked to be um, a little too dark. So let's see. So we're gonna try it and see. Let's just go ahead and try it and then kind of go from there. How about that? All right, so let's get, this is, I'm using a full pump right now. This is one full pump. So I'm gonna,
All right, so it is, guys, it's going on really, really smooth. Doesn't have a strong scent, but it does have a fragrant scent. All right. All right, so this this side, guys. I like it so far, I really do. Let me move my mirror. I like it. What do you guys think about this color? I think the color is okay. I do, I think it's okay. All right, so let's do this side. And we still have this much left. So let's put that on this side. All right, so this is the sponge on this side. All right, so, and I forgot to say, if you've never been here before, of course, I have mature skin, I have hyperpigmentation, I have some fine lines and wrinkles, have some raised moles in which I'm getting ready to go to the dermatologist to see if I can get some of these things removed um because they're all over my neck and so I'm gonna go see if I can get some of those removed but um but you know and I have lots of texture so when I put on my foundation this is what I hope to make look better it won't make it go away but it can make it look a little better all right so this is this side with the sponge and guys I think I like this All right, so this is just one um, pump all over. And I think I like one pump. So guys, you know what I do is I like to turn the lights down to see what it looks like without um, the ring light. All right, so this is what it looks like without the ring light. Guys, I really do. I think I like it. All right, let's 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 go back and let's talk about it. But this is what it looks like in the natural light. Now, what I want to do, I think, is I think I want to put a little bit more, just a little bit to see what it, it says it's buildable. So let's just see how buildable it is. So I'm going to add one more pump. That's one pump. And I think you get a lot with the one pump. So I think one pump did spread really, really well and did enough to do the whole face. So let's just try it again with a second pump and see what happens. So this was the brush side. So let's do the brush side. This is the second coat of the brush side. Let's try this side with the sponge. All right. All right. So this is the second layer on both sides. All right. So, okay. So it is covering up a nice amount, if not all, of my hyperpigmentation. I wouldn't call it radiant. It looks like a, a really natural satin type of finish. It looks like the finish is really, really nice. It's not, it doesn't look oily. It doesn't look radiant. It doesn't look any of those things. It just looks like a nice natural, a nice natural satin finish. Yeah, I like this um, so far. I really do like it. Now the shade, I think the shade might be a little warm, just a little bit warm. It's drying down really nicely. 
It doesn't feel like really, really sticky or anything. It literally is drying down really, really nicely. No, guys, I'm gonna set this and see what we're working with. I don't have any concealer. Well, I have a little bit of concealer under here, but not like concealing, concealing, trying to conceal anything really. But yeah, it doesn't look like it. You know, I this little teeny wrinkle here. See, we are gonna have to have a conversation because I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is put a little concealer on, put um, some more face on, and then I'll be right back, okay? All right, ladies, so I'm back. And this is what we have. I just added a little bit of blush, some bronzer, um, some concealer, that kind of thing. Not really going anywhere, so it really does look nice initially. The scent is mild. It's a little pricey. Um, this doesn't look better than any other foundation to me. Just um, on a first impression, it doesn't look any better than some other ones for $64. I don't know that it's worth $64 just to look at it. But I try not to give it, I try not to say that without wearing it all day and seeing how, exactly how it's going to wear before I say stuff like that. <laughs> so, but I, I like it. I like the way it looks on my skin. What do you guys think? I think it's worth a try. You know, the, the good thing is Sephora has a very good return policy. <laughs> so if you don't like it, then of course, by all means, you can always take it back or whatever. But you know me, I always say, guys, it's worth a try. This is just my own opinions based on my own skin type. So if you're similar, this just gives you an idea. But everybody's skin is different. So definitely go out here and change and try it. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching the video. And remember, it all starts with the base. You guys stay safe. Bye.